Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look and see what's manifesting for you this May. Any messages or advice? What's showing up around you as well? So that could be someone on your mind and how it may be affecting you. And the chance that you see this any time other than May and it resonates, it is your message. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually boldy on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallyatgoy.com, for you to view all of the different options for readings. It's funny. <laughs> I was like hearing, do you ever feel like someone's watching you? I, I kind of feel like somebody is watching you. Um, yeah. And it kind of looks like they're about to take action. Someone who's been watching you for a while um, in the background. And... I want to see why they're taking action towards you. Why are they taking action towards Aries in the month of May? Because they feel alone. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. They may feel uh, left on the cold. Some of you, this is a situation where the security or stability between the situation is really unknown. And they, they, they want to change that. So they want something to become more stable between the both of you. Um, come in a way that is balanced though. Okay, five of pentacles to the six of pentacles. So someone's realizing they need to do something urgently here. They, they need to make a move if they want to... If they want this to move forward in a place that is balance or even like get some sort of energy or attention from you feels like they're 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 wanting some sort of attention from you you're showing up as an emperor in may so aries this is like boss boss energy being the boss of your own life like you really calling the shots in your life you um making big big moves big plans in May and in the future. Some of you could be entrepreneurs and you're creating a lot of stability in your life. Like things just look good. It just looks like you have a lot of control in your hands. You're, you're taking charge of a situation and you're making really ambitious plans that actually turn out to be the way that you, you're expecting it to. Okay, um, this is something that you've been slowly working towards though, or you've been very consistent and you haven't, this success isn't something that was rushed, okay? This isn't something that happened overnight, but it feels like this is the month of your success, okay? Yeah, some of you, th this could be you being upgraded in your job, in your career, where you have more authority, more say, in situations, you could be promoted to a higher position. You're just being upgraded in the month of May. Like, bigger things. Bigger things. More money. More wealth being accumulated. And what you're leaving behind is the Ten of Swords. So you're leaving behind... Any fears of being defeated, any fears of not being able to do something. What is this kind of story about? Because this is coming from a situation that you felt betrayed or a situation that caught you really off guard. Mm. Okay, some of you felt betrayed by someone who was meant to guide you. Or someone who you kind of looked up to. And you're now 
is you're now realizing like not to I idealize anything or anyone or it was a lesson it was a lesson to not idealize anything or anyone okay someone who was like meant to guide you uh, disappointed you but it's only made you better it only made you into the person that you are today and it only made you into your best self here this is you showing up as your best self powerful and in charge oh wow we got the empress the emperor and the empress divine masculine divine feminine so you have you are in alignment with someone who is uh showing up as their best selves as well but i'm seeing two people here we also have the queen of wands which kind of looks like it's the person who's been um, it could be a fire sign, Leo Aries Sagittarius, who's been watching you, who's been um, waiting to take action towards you. So you have an empress and you have a queen. And I, I feel like you're looking more towards the empress here. But at the same time, a part of you is like, who can I trust? I do see you having walls up or you having some sort of boundary between two people. Okay, you have two people here, but you're... But you have walls in between both in between both of them. But I and they're not and both of them are, are pretty good people. But I would say one of them is more you're more aligned with this person in a soul way. Okay. So the month of May looks like you're coming to the end of a struggle with this nine of wands. Something that you've been struggling or you may, struggling with or you've been really tired and fed up with um, taking action towards is coming to its end in May. So this is this is something that you have like put a lot of energy towards and you're like, where are the results? I'm seeing the results. Okay, this is this is a sign to keep going. This is a sign not to give up because you are so close to your your plans actually becoming a reality, your consistency becoming a reality. You're so close to it. Okay. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you. About this situation with you, Aries. Hmm. Okay. This person is feeling kind of unlucky. They're watching you walk away or you may feel like there's something missing or they may feel this way. They may feel that you're, you're not very, you're not completely in a situation with them emotionally. And you're saying your goodbyes or you're walking away from an on and off cycle. We look fortune reversed, right? A karmic cycle, a lesson. You've learned a lesson. You're walking away from it. I don't think this is the last that you're going to hear of them, though. Those look like they have something to say. The magician is um, taking some sort of action to have a new beginning or a new cycle. They're realizing that they're losing you if if they don't end up changing something. I I. I see this person realizing like, okay, I need to change if I want to have Aries in my life. Clarify this Wheel of Fortune reverse. And, and soon. Okay. They feel like they've learned something. They've learned a lesson here. Yeah, they've, you've, you've taught them. You've taught them a, 
a karmic lesson to value what they have when they have it. So I see a love offer to a relationship here and um, I definitely feel like it's coming from that empress. Someone who is around your, your age and has the same type of like wisdom and experience as you. Someone who's very abundant, loving, nurturing. Okay like yin to your yang type of energy like they compliment you you're receiving so much abundance in may and i see you giving it out as well the more you give the more you're going to end up seeing yourself receive and it's because it's coming from the right place it's coming from the mi right mind mindset not to just give to receive, but just giving because you, you're you in a position to give or you have the power to give. And you end up receiving from this. I see you celebrating this month. Abundant rewards for your hard work. You're so close. Release yourself from any burdensome situations. It's time to boss up this month. I'm seeing the numbers 10, 4, 4, 4. So you could be seeing 444. Four, four. This could be a sign that this is your reading. I'm also seeing the number 6 and 7. Those numbers could be birthdays, synchronicities as well. I'm seeing the letters K, M, E, G, R, P, H, T, E. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.